So our device provisioning is a three-step process. Starting at the phone, you'll need to get the device MAC address and secondly paste a URL into the phone's provisioning interface. Across to the Subsidy Live portal, you'll choose the phone type and associate the MAC address against the required phone numbers. Now lastly, back to the phone, hit reset and it securely logs onto our provisioning portal via an encrypted Cisco certificate and downloads the config based on the information you've just entered. Now that's it. Without interruption, I can generally provision a phone in two or three minutes. If you've got a PoE switch uh, with a couple of you, you should be able to get through a couple of hundred in a few hours. Right, now taking a look at what it actually looks like, we've logged into the SPA 504 using uh, forward slash admin, forward slash advanced, uh, following the uh, phone's LAN IP address. So here's the MAC address that you need to copy and paste into your device provisioning tool. At the same time, uh, copy and paste the appropriate prov provisioning URL uh, into the phone's provisioning tab. Now all that remains now is to jump across to uh, Subsidy Live, go to Device Provisioning, enter the phone's MAC address, select the number, and hit Add. Now this is how we associate the phone's MAC address with the individual phone numbers. So jump back to the phone, select Reset. It will come up and down a couple of times and um, apply all the appropriate settings including your DID and registration details. Uh, we also update the firmware and apply an Australian dial plan. And finally all subsidy provision phones uh, use TLS to encrypt the SIP messages. Uh, that has the added benefit that uh, TLS will prevent SIP application level gateway or SIP ALG as it's referred to uh, from breaking SIP uh, which is a continuing problem for all business VoIP providers. So that's it. If you've got any questions, jump on to our live chat on the website or give us a call on 1800 150 686. And thanks for your time.